Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct, and a little bit needing a bit of a boost on the camera light sensor for tonight. Down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update for Saturday, or Sunday evening. Got to keep track of the time and add the two to the calendar. If you're just tuning in and joining us, if you've never seen this before, this is our online video weather blog called Weather Overtime. This is a good opportunity for you to keep up to date on what's going on with weather. We are live on Periscope and Twitter, and if you'd like to know more about what's going on across the Mid-South where it comes to weather, we cover the areas of West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Eastern Arkansas, the three-state area we cover there in numerous counties in and around the Memphis metro area so if you have any questions about what you're looking at go ahead and drop them into the comments section down below anything else if there's something on here you would like to see we spend a few minutes talking about what the immediate forecast is going to do and stretch that into the seven to ten day forecast we'll have a lot more coming up on news channel three at ten if you have other questions write down here austin.onic at wreg.com my email address and of course our main website here at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to know more about that also again for those of you who can't stick around around for the entire thing. you got other things to do. Current conditions right now in the News Channel 3 backyard, 77 degrees and partly cloudy skies out there tonight. Forecasts going into about the mid-50s for the metro area and tomorrow's forecast way down here at the bottom should be another day of very mild temperatures coming up by this time tomorrow, mid to upper 70s across much of the area. Hardly any rainfall to worry about today and not that much going on into the course of the next several hours. Uh, the view from Germantown, or just north of Germantown, around Cordova, Tennessee, on the St. Francis of Assisi cam in the background from the weather bug system. If you'd like to see that, go to our weather station website, wreg.com, and check out the webcams page for more information on that. What we're going to be seeing over the course of the next several hours is, again, not much to worry about in the way of rainfall. We've got dry air moving into the Mid-South, which you can easily see in this cloud cover off toward the area back to the north and west, looking above Germantown Parkway there. We see again also some pretty dry conditions into the next several hours. Temperatures will be very much on the mild side back in the mid to upper 60s by about News Channel 3 at 10. Winds out of the northwest, that's going to be keeping again the dry air flowing into the Mid-South area, which means it'll be comfortable and the clouds will be sticking around in some form or fashion partly cloudy at times, mostly cloudy at others, high fin clouds for the most part, several thousand feet up. The very thick cloud cover we've had over the rest of the weekend, that basically is gone and heading away from us as we get some dry air to make its way into the Mid-South. So cool by the time we get into early tomorrow morning. We'll take a look at that forecast and see what's going on for the kids at the school bus stop here in just a little bit. If you are planning on traveling tonight, the rainfall from last night is going away from us, heading on down toward the south end of the east and what we're seeing is again most of that rainfall heading on out of the picture toward northern parts of Alabama. Temperatures will be back into around the mid to upper 60s or so throughout the rest of the evening through about News Channel 3 at 10. By the time Todd Demers is on with his daybreak forecast, there will be a few clouds sticking around portions of the area. That's the gray colors that you see on screen, but we're not seeing anything in the way of rainfall yet. We've got two storm systems that are going to be heading our way within about the next 48 hours, so about one storm system per day on this. As you look down toward the bottom of your screen, you may see by the end of the day more chances of sprinkles coming our direction. It doesn't look like anything huge at this point, but south and around of Oxford and into around the area of Corinth, Tupelo, Tishomingo County in far northeastern Mississippi and then back into northwestern parts of Alabama. There could be a few sprinkles showing up here. Again, not looking at a huge amount of activity, but it is going to be possible that we do see at least some areas of sprinkles out across portions of the area as we go into tomorrow afternoon or so. Otherwise, a beautiful morning coming up. Temperatures in the lower to mid 60s to mid to upper 50s. Lunchtime temperatures tomorrow under dry conditions back in the lower to mid 70s across much of the area and then getting into around tomorrow afternoon again those clouds start to make their way into the picture but we also see again those areas of very light sprinkles making their way just south of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Clarksdale, Batesville, Water Valley, Oxford, that's where we see again the potential for more of those chances of rainfall coming on through and again it doesn't look like a deluge but it does look like more clouds, more rainfall. This is all part of a storm system that is going to be traveling along the edge of the Gulf of Mexico. It's 
it's an area of low pressure which is going to be moving a lot of moisture up this direction once again and that's where you're seeing again the potential for again this rainfall making its way on through by about dinner time tomorrow we could be looking at the potential of maybe some scattered areas of light uh, showers taking place again in the southern parts of the viewing area as that moisture wanders its way up this direction again it doesn't look like anything involving huge amounts of moisture coming on through but we will see that moisture being transported into the area and that means again more chances of rainfall into the rest of the evening tomorrow mainly south of I-40 doesn't look like it's gonna be reaching the metro area at this time sprinkles mainly thunderstorms could be possible well on down to our south by tomorrow afternoon and evening but doesn't look like a lot heading our direction at least immediately now overnight into Tuesday yeah that does look like it could be a little bit more interesting as the forecast goes chances of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow again yes we are gonna put them in the forecast you're not gonna see them uh, in the text display here because that again is going to be for most of the day we don't have anything taking place immediately but as we go into around the evening hours that's where we see again the potential for the chances of rainfall getting a little bit more organized so we'll watch for that late Monday we'll see more chances of showers and a few thunderstorms mixed in with that as we go into Tuesday we'll also see some pretty mild temperatures coming on through keep in mind that at this time of the year 80 is about our normal high temperature we're gonna be just a little bit below that as we go into the next couple of days so that'll be feeling very nice especially on Wednesday temperatures gonna be again very much on the nice side normal at this time of the year is about 80 70 degrees in mid to late May yeah we'll take that with no problem whatsoever but we'll also see again the potential for more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through and that's where we start to see more widespread potential for showers and thunderstorms across much of the area. Rest of the week into next weekend, we dry out on Thursday and Friday. We don't see a lot of potential in the way of showers or thunderstorms coming up in this particular time frame. We do see, unfortunately, more potential for showers and thunderstorms going into next weekend. That's the Memorial Day holiday weekend. Next Monday is Memorial Day, and unfortunately, we're looking at better chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our direction as we get into next Monday. We'll take a closer look at the 10-day forecast, the extended forecast coming up as we go to our news channel 3 at 10, so be sure to join us for more information on that. We'll keep you advised there. Heading the kids out to the school bus stop in the morning. Again, we're not expecting rainfall through the early part of the day in the metro area or Shelby County, but as we get toward dismissal time and afterwards for those schools that are still in session, we could see uh, the potential of problems into around late tomorrow afternoon, and numbers will be very much on the mild side. Sometimes Temperatures could be back in the lower 80s, but mainly back in the mid to upper 70s across much of the area. Todd Demers has more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. And of course, join me for a complete forecast update on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio. Bob and Josh will be on throughout the early morning hours with Talk Back Live, Sports Chat, a lot of great guests on, and of course, the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center forecast. That will also be available as we get into tomorrow morning. So tune in Monday through Friday mornings from 7 to 9 a.m. for a complete update of the forecast. And, of course, join me on all my social media networks out there where we'll have plenty more information to talk about. Once again, if there's something on here you'd like to see us cover, we would love to know about it, but we can't post it if you don't let us know. So if you tell us a little bit more, again, austin.onic at wreg.com. That would be very helpful. Also, again, on all these social media networks, don't forget to download our weather app. It's available at the App Store. Whatever platform you've got, search WREG Weather, and you can find out more about downloading that and keeping up to date with what's going on throughout the rest of the Mid-South into the weekend and beyond as well. We'll have an update coming up on News Channel 3's Facebook page at the top of the hour at 8 o'clock, currently about 7.38 as we record this. And if you'd like to know more about the forecast in detail, join us tonight. We'll be a few minutes late after the season finale of Elementary. We went a little bit long on golf tonight, so we'll be on at about 10.03 or so, but we'll still be on with the complete newscast, and that'll be coming up again at just after 10 o'clock this evening. And of course, Todd Demers has more on Daybreak. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the WREG News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. And again, more questions or concerns, austin.onik at wreg.com. And stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend and all through next week on News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for joining us tonight.